Hi everyone, it's Amber from The Sensible Mama and welcome to this week's Pack With Me. I've been watching a lot of content from my friend Nicole Renee on YouTube talking about how much she loves the Be Light. And I'll be honest, it's been frustrating me a little bit because I have a hard time finding love for the Be Light. So I decided that this week I was going to give myself a little challenge and figure out how I can pack this up in a way that works really well for me. So I've spent probably the last half hour playing around with this, trying out different things, figuring out what would actually work according to the way that I like to pack and the way that I like to be able to access things in my diaper bag. And I am so excited that I have finally found the way. <laughs> like the way that is going to make me happy and make me actually enjoy carrying this bag as a diaper bag. I will say that I use this bag for lots of other things, I just don't tend to pack it up as my go-to diaper bag, but now that I know how to pack this way, I'm pretty sure I'm going to start using this a lot more. So if you want to see how I finally achieved Be Light Nirvana, keep watching. I've got my totally empty Be Light sitting here on the floor because it doesn't stand up very well on its own, so we'll go ahead and stand it up once I get some stuff inside of it. This is the blackout print. I do love blackout from Jujube. All the hardware is totally black, and of course it comes with this really awesome black magic lining which I feel is so great for fall. I'm going to be packing the Be Light up with this awesome little organizer that I got on Amazon. I can't remember the brand name of this, it's definitely off brand and I think it was only like $4. But it's a lot like just a Lily Jade insert or any other kind of insert you might have seen in other diaper bags. But what I love about it is that it's really short and really small which means that it does fit perfectly in the Be Light. So this is what I'm going to be using for the majority of my stuff, everything but my diapering thing things are going to go in here. For my diapering needs, I have pulled out my Unikiki 2.0 Be Organized. I sat out of the Unikiki 2.0 release for the most part. It was my very first release as a Jujube retailer, um, and I was just so excited about selling stuff that I didn't want to buy any of it, but I did get a Be Organized, and I think maybe a quick. And now that I'm having a little girl, I am so excited that I have some Unikiki stuff because it just screams like girly colors to me. So, um, I cloth diaper, if you've been watching me for a while, you know that. I'm going to put two of my cloth diapers down here in the bottom of the Be Organized. I love the large Be Organized piece for cloth diapering. It is just perfect for getting all of your needs in there. I'm actually going to scoot this over a little bit because... The Be Light does not come with its own change pad, so you do have to pack a change pad yourself. This is the Toki Treats change pad from Kanga Care. I love this because it is a little bit bigger than the Jujubee change pads, and I find that it works really well for my toddler, who of course is bigger than a baby. Okay, so I've got my two diapers and my change pads sitting right there in the large Be Organized piece. I'm going to toss my wipe pouch on top of that. And next, I'm going to throw in my Logan and Lenora Simple Clutch. I'm using this as a wet bag. It's perfect when you just need a spot for one or two diapers. This is PUL lined, which means it functions just like a wet bag does. It's just a little bit smaller, and I love this print, especially with blackout. All the black and white here, it's just... It works really, really well. We do sell Logan and Lenora at thesensiblemama.com. I have fallen in love with this brand, and I love using this as my wet bag. And the last thing that I'm going to toss in there is my baby powder. And now I have a totally ready to go diapering pouch that I'm gonna actually put in the bottom of my diaper bag. Now, you guys that have newborns and do constant diaper changes, you might not like putting your diapering gear at the very bottom of your diapering bag because you know, you do a lot of diaper changes when you have a newborn. Um, but now that I have a toddler, I find that when we're out and about, Diaper changes really aren't the thing that I'm reaching into my bag for the most. Usually I'm reaching in there for snacks or <laughs> first aid kit and things like that. So I'm actually okay having my diapering stuff down in the bottom of the bag because I'm just not reaching for it often and I would rather not have to push it aside to get to the things that I'm actually grabbing for most of the time. So the plan is I'm going to put everything else in this um, little insert and I'm going to actually rest the insert on top of that large Be Organized piece so that that way the things that I grab for are sitting right on top close at hand. 
The first thing I have is my son's BB Olay swaddle blanket. This is what he uses for comfort or for naps while we are out running errands. There's actually plenty of room in here that I could still put maybe the other swaddle blanket that came in this set in there as well, just in case he gets one dirty. But I tend to not need both and I wanna keep it light this week, so I'm just putting that one in there. And I'm gonna toss that right down here in the center of the insert. It fits perfectly in there. Next, I have a medium set piece in the black diamond print, and I'm using this this week because I think black diamond looks so pretty with Unikiki 2.0, especially when you're using the organized pieces because the black um, mesh there really complements the black in the black diamonds print. So this is what I'm gonna be using for restaurant needs for my son. You guys see me pack this up the same every week. I have my Be Neat in the blackout print. My son's slip resistant placemat. This is made by Neat Solutions. I will link it below because everyone wants to know where I got it. I love this thing. I actually prefer it over like the easy peasy mats and things like that just because it's so small and compact. You can put it in a medium set piece and it actually does stick to the table and it's so easy to wipe down that I can just, when we leave the restaurant, I pull a wipe out of my diaper bag, wipe it down and stick it back in here and we're good to go. And lastly, I'm going to put my son's utensils in there as well. Usually we have shout wipes, but we use the last of them this weekend while we were out at a restaurant. So I'm just going to tuck this in one of these front slip pockets right here. I want to balance this insert out so that it's not um, heavy on one side compared to the other. So I'm going to now start packing up this side really quickly. I'm going to be using a medium set piece in the black petals print and this is going to be for my son's snacks. So I have a little pouch of some um, I don't know what this is, like multi-fruit, okay. I also have a Nature Valley bar, that's for me. And lastly, I have one of my Itsy Ritzy snack bags. This is in the Flamingo Flock print, which has been on back order for a really long time, but my reorder of these is on its way, plus the donuts print, which everyone has been asking about, so I will have these back in stock really soon, which I'm very, very excited about because you don't know how many emails I get about those snack bags. Okay, so there's my snacking stuff for my son, and I'm gonna put this one over here in this slip pocket. Okay, so there is the insert with both of my medium set pieces in there. Next, I'm going to take a change of clothes for my son and slip it in this front pocket over here. Um, I usually would have these uh, change of clothes in a medium set piece as well, but I kind of like being able to just grab for it, and that's what this slip pocket is for anyway, so might as well use it. Back to this side of the bag, I'm going to use this slip pocket for my son's hand and face wipes. Um, he is one of those kids who really, really hates having stuff on his hands and face, so we need these all the time. And believe it or not, that is actually all that I really need with me on a given short day out with my son. If I was gonna be out longer, I probably would need a little bit more than this, but for my typical errands that I run with Roman in tow, this is just everything that I need right here. So I've got my Be Light that has my large Be Organized piece down in the bottom, and now I'm just going to slip this insert down in there on top of that Be Organized piece. As you can see, it went in there no problem. All I'm going to do now is throw my um, small Be Organized piece, also in the Unikiki 2.0 print, right in here on top of the insert where I can grab for that really quickly because Lord knows if Roman falls down, I want to get uh, medical needs really, really fast. All right, so there is the Be Light all packed up, so let's go ahead and work on the outside. I have my small set piece here, which I grabbed out of the other diaper bag that I was using this past week, so I really don't need to repack this. This is just packed as a wallet. I have my Black Ops coin purse in here that has cash and coins in it, and then of course my Duchess Be Organized that is packed up with all of my cards and my license and things like that. And this I'm just going to put right here in this front pocket of the Be Light. I'm also going to toss my lip gloss and my Sensible Mama Pen Gems pen in that front pocket as well. And this pocket over here I will keep empty for my son's sippy cup whenever he hands that to me and I can just put it right there in that slip pocket. Now you guys know that I do like to dress up the outside of the bag a little bit, but to be honest with you, I kind of want to keep it simple this week. So I'm only going to do two things. One, I'm going to put a passy pod on here, and two, I'm going to add a seatbelt strap so that I have a messenger strap option. This is a Sensible Mama seatbelt strap. 
in the mint print. This is made by my friend Nicole. We open up slots every week for people to place an order for their uh, seatbelt straps. You get to pick your color. We have 11 different colors right now. You also get to pick your hardware, either brushed metal, silver, or shiny polished gold. And you also get to pick your length, either long or short. So this is the long strap in mint with the brushed silver uh, hardware. And since this matches so perfectly with Unikiki 2.0, I just thought it was appropriate to put this on here so that the colors kind of match on the inside and the outside. Next, I'm going to add my Blackmagic Pacipod. We are actually kind of trying to get away from Roman having a pacifier while we're out. We're trying to just limit it to the crib. Lately, we kind of let him start carrying the passy out with him and, and we're not a fan of that. So we're breaking away from that. So this week, instead of putting a pacifier in there, I'm actually going to be putting my little foldable brush. I got this at a local family owned store here in my hometown, but this is just a great little brush for me and also for Roman. He likes to take his macaroni and cheese covered hands and put them in his hair. So it's nice to be able to brush that junk out of his hair um, whenever that happens. So that's just going to be where that little brush is going to go. And I'm actually going to hook this right through the D-ring on this side of my bag. And you know what? I think that is going to just about do it. All right, everyone, that's it for this week's pack with me. I hope that you found this video helpful. I will be linking that insert that I got on Amazon down in the description box below. It is super cheap and affordable. It comes in lots of great colors. So if you're looking for something to add some structure to your Be Light, I highly, highly recommend this one. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.